Before showing the clip of Kurt Henning talking about his good friend Rick Rude, who passed away back in 1999, I want to get into the topic of disrespect by those in the pro wrestling industry. Nobody showed, according to DDP, to Mean Gene Oakland's funeral. As far as colleagues, Gene Oakland dies. I thought it was going to be a who's who of wrestlers that were going to be there. From Hogan to Flair to everybody. Though everybody must have been had other engagements because nobody showed. And many made the excuse underneath my video in the comment section of why nobody showed, according to DDP, to Mean Gene Oakland's funeral. As far as colleagues, they blame COVID. Well, COVID was a year and three months after the passing of Mean Gene Oakland. Mean Gene passed away early January 2019, and the COVID restrictions didn't start until March 15, 2020. Again, that's a year and three months later. And the other excuse was, oh, a lot of Mean Gene Oakland's colleagues have passed away. What about Sherry Martell, 49 years old, and Rick Root, 40 years old, in their 40s? So what's the excuse? with their colleagues not showing up. The only ones in the pro wrestling industry to show up for Sherry Martel's funeral, Booker T, Charmel, and as you see, Marty Jannetty. And also pictured here, not in that group photo, is Jake Roberts, as you see here with Sherry Martel. Absolutely zero excuses for this. What a complete disgrace. And also, as you see here, Pedro Morales, a bit older, but the only one to show up for Pedro Morales' funeral was Bob Backlund. And Bob Backlund was was not only hurt, he was pissed off that all these people involved with pro wrestling over the years, Pedro Morales, been around for a tremendous amount of time in the WWF, and he was the only one to show up. And that gets back to Rick Rude. Only 40 years old, and very few from the pro wrestling industry showed up. What a complete embarrassment. What a complete disgrace the pro wrestling industry is with the people working internally. Let's get to the clip with Kurt Henning. Very emotional, again, shooting on those that didn't attend, ravishing Rick Rude's funeral. Certainly know what you're uh, in for. Uh, if I can bring it down for just a second, we just have a little bit of time. Condolences to the loss of a very good friend of yours and ours, Rick Rude. How did you find out about it? What's the last couple of weeks been like for you and, and your relationship with the family? Well, I don't believe that's anybody's business. You know what really burns my ass are the people that live in that Atlanta area? The people that Rick Rude made a lot of money for, the people that knew Rick Rude that didn't show up to his funeral. The stuff like that, you know what? It's built up some frustration. It's a frustration that only I can control. I'm telling you right now, uh, wrestling lost one of his greatest athletes and uh, one of his best money makers, and, um, and I lost my best friend. And, uh, we'll see what happens. In the next couple of weeks, you're going to see a new Kurt Henning because I think this uh, should be a wake-up call for a lot of people, and I think it, uh, it certainly was one for me. And, uh, my condolences to his family and his wife, and uh, Rick knows the way I felt about him, and uh, what else can be said. They talk about the great equalizer and how everything so, seems so less important in the light of something like this, and, uh, and uh, you know, our best wishes are with you. Just let me tell you this, next time you want to do an interview with me, you come and ask me first. Kurt Henning, let's go back to Nitro.